What's up guys? Uh, this week for Bench Tricks, I want to show you guys some different kinds of flames. Um, you guys have always asked us uh, what are the different kinds of flames and can you describe them in more detail. So I'm going to show you a couple different styles of flames and we'll go over kind of what it, what it is. So on my torch, um, I have three stages. It's called a triple stage torch. So the first stage is the smallest flame, the second stage is the middle flame, and the last stage is the outer flame. So I'm just going to turn it on. Whenever you turn on your torch, you always want to, want to turn on the propane first because propane is the flammable gas. Oxygen is just an accelerant. There's no way to light the torch with just the oxygen. So I turn on the oxygen, you guys can hear it. Put the lighter there, it'll just blow it out. Oxygen is non-flammable by itself. Turn on the propane, there we go. So I'm just going to set a neutral flame here. There's three basic kinds of flames that we're going to talk about. There's a neutral flame, which has a pretty even mix of propane and oxygen. There is a reducing flame, where you reduce the amount of oxygen, has more propane. And then there's an oxidizing flame, and uh, that has more oxygen than the propane. There's several different parts of the flame. Um, one part right here is the candles, and you never want to put your glass in that part of the flame. The area from here to here, that's the working flame. You're, it's gonna be hottest here and colder over here. So it's gonna heat up quicker over here and it's gonna heat up slower over here. So if you're working on something and you want your, it's getting hot too quickly, move it a little bit out of the flame and it'll slow down how fast it's moving. The last part of the flame is from here on and that's the annealing flame or the part of the flame that you use to kind of slowly warm or slowly cool glass in. Um, if you're fuming glass, like if you're fuming gold and silver, you want to use this part of the flame here. And we'll go into specific fuming flames later, but um, I wanted to show you a neutral flame, which is this right now, which has a pretty even mix of um, oxygen and propane. Um, it's maybe slightly on the oxygenation side. You can hear it hissing a little. So maybe that's just a straight neutral flame. Um, the next flame I want to show you is a reducing flame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the amount of oxygen that's uh, mixed in with the gas. So in ratio, I'm increasing the propane. Although I didn't decrease the oxygen, I increased the propane so much that the ratio is now heavily on the propane side and it's a very reducing flame. Normally if people are talking about a reducing flame, they're in this kind of range. Just like with a cold and hot seal punny, there is no specific end and beginning, it's a gradient. So the next flame I want to show you is an oxidizing flame. And this kind of flame, your, your torch is going to become louder, it's going to be hotter to a certain degree. But once you turn up the oxygen enough, you can see that the flame then becomes colder. So there's a range. You can see by the color of the flame that it became a lot hotter. So those are your three main kinds of flames. Now I'm going to turn on my second stage. I have a foot pedal. It's controlled with a solenoid on the uh, below my torch here. So I'm going to click the foot pedal and I'm going to now turn on my second stage torch, which is the Mirage. So now I have a pretty neutral flame and uh, it's really even. You can see that my candles are all straight and that the density of the flame right here is really even. It's so dense that I can hold this and just barely see through it. And I know that's a really hot, even flame. Um, so if I want to make this a reducing flame, I'll turn up the propane, the, both propanes. And now you can see that it's still an even flame, a dense flame, and it has a reduction atmosphere going on in the chemistry. So I'll turn that back to neutral. And now I'm going to make this flame an oxidizing flame. So these two knobs are oxygen, so I'm going to increase those. And you can see that it starts to become a very oxygenated flame. So I'll turn on my last stage just so you guys can see what that's like. It's connected to another foot pedal. Turn on the propane. And you can see that that's now a neutral flame on the Delta Mag flame. So I'm going to turn up the propane. 
and now that's a really hot, hot flame. You can, you can feel the heat out to here right now, and uh, the whole flame is reducing, so this is, you wouldn't really use this for much, but that's what it would look like. And then here's a really high oxygenation flame. Sometimes you could use this for marini or building, cane, things like that. All right, so I'll turn off those outer torches, turn this all down, and I want to show you guys two kind of cool specialty flames uh, in this bench trick. Um, the first one is a flame that I really like to use for uh, precision, uh, drawing, uh, line work, anything where I'm doing some detail work. And I'm going to use these three knobs, this propane, this oxygen, and this oxygen. So I'm going to click on my second stage, turn on those flames. And I can adjust it really down to get a really precision flames. And sometimes you can turn this one on just a little bit and crack that, and it's a really precision flame that you can get with this knob, this knob, and this knob, or this knob, this knob, and these two knobs. Um, the next flame I want to show you, it's a pretty cool flame. It's an annealing flame for the GTT. So I'm going to turn the propane way up, and I'm going to turn the oxygen. And you can see that I have different variations right now. The more blue it is, the hotter it is. And the more orange it is, the colder it is. So I can adjust the annealing. And this is a huge area for annealing. It's very good. It's all solid temperature right there. All right, guys. So there are some flames, Some a little bit about flame chemistry. Um, I hope that comes in handy. I hope you can utilize it in some way for your work. Um, if you guys have a bench trick, please email it to benchtricks at revereglass.com and we will definitely share it with the world. Thanks and we'll see you soon.